Hey guys, welcome back to another video from Know Your Discs. I'm Josh. This is Hunter. Thanks for tuning in. We're going to talk about plastic properties today. Um, somebody asked, based off of our other video that we did on what the common plastic types are for drivers and putters, etc., etc., they asked if we could do a full video on all the different types of plastics. Now, we've got this stack right here in orders of stability for plastics. So as we go through, we're not going to make much mention of stability, but each one becomes more overstable as, as we continue. So, baseline plastic, Pro-D or DX plastic in most, um, that's Discraft and Innova, or their equivalents in other brands. This is the least durable plastic. It's got very, very good grip. A lot of people use it for their putters because of the grip. Decent glide, well, pretty good glide. Um, but, like I said, not a lot of durability is going to get beat up super quick, so its characteristics will, its flight characteristics could change after a tree hit pretty much. Next, Pro Plastic. <clears throat> Pro Plastic has a little more durability, um, a little more glide, and still pretty good grip, but it can be a little more slick. Um, you don't find it in anything more than putters usually, but that's Pro Plastic. G-Star. Um, G-Star is a lot more durable than the DX and the Pro Plastic, but not so much as a Star or a, not so much as a Star or a Champion or even a blend of those. But nice and gummy, really good grip, especially uh, in the winter, um, where your Star Plastic will kind of rig up. You'll get kind of a Star feel in gumminess from a G-Star plastic, so might be a good option for you. Next up we got Shimmer Star. Uh, I believe Enova is the only company that makes a blend uh, like this one. Uh, correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, but this is their blend between their G-Star and their Star. So that gives you is a little bit more grip than Star because you get it from the G-Star, a little bit more gumminess, um, but it also gives you the consistency and durability of a Star plastic disc. Star plastic. Really awesome grip, go-to driver for a lot of, for pretty much everybody because of the glide. It's got a lot of glide, it pairs the glide and the durability factor in very nicely. So when they're trying to get extra footage, Star Plastic is the ideal choice for drivers. High durability, high glide. Champion Plastic, more durable. More overstable, um, a little more slick, especially in wet conditions. But yeah, just a little more slick, a little more durable. Uh, the Luster Champion is Enova's mixture between their Star and their Champion plastic. It's comparable to Discraft's Big Z, uh, but the only difference is with Enova runs, for some reason, the Luster is their one of their most stable. It's more stable than Champion. Whereas with Discraft, you'll find that this will actually be between their ESP and their Z plastic. So it's a little different with brands, but it gives you more of the grip of the star with the um, consistent overstability of a champion, and it has a lot less glide than a star plastic disc will have. And then, last but not least, Metal Flake. I think that term is kind of consistent across all brands. Really, all it does is it just takes out a lot of glide from a champion plastic disc. So it makes it seem a lot more overstable. These things want to get to the ground a lot faster, and it has the same feel as your Champion disc, so it's good to have an addition to Champion in your bag. That's it for today, guys. Thanks for tuning in, and remember, knowing your discs is half the battle.